Hello everyone, I am back and now I am going to uh, start the tutorial from where we left. But before that, I want to show you uh, what is the uh, press function and uh, like what is this click function uh, can we do something by clicking on these tiles and i also want to show you what is the use of base controller so base controller concept concept we will come but before that if you see in this code that we written last time uh, there is a property called press and there is a uh, you know the function name so that is actually uh, the function name we can write it anything but this press that is an inbuilt property of this generic tag so this should not be changed here you can write anything you can write uh, uh, on click tile tile on click tile that something happens on the click of tile so familiar function name you can write i'm putting it for all the generic tiles right so whenever i click on any generic tile it should uh, you know trigger only the single function will trigger uh, whatever tile we will click so uh, to write a function we will write that on click tile then colon then f u n c t i o n function inside this function i'm putting one o e v e n t event i would show you what is the use of the event uh, and the bracket open bracket close and here i can write uh, variable uh, c l i c k e t clicked t i l e tile there is a variable name click tile so i want to know which tile is clicked so i can write o e v e n t o event dot get s o u r c get source o event dot get source dot get p r o p e r t y dot get property and what property you want to show i want to show header property like what is there in header so you just copy this and you put it like header inside this uh, apostrophe and uh, so that name would be save in the click type now you go to the next and you write uh, m e w -S, s h e message t o a s t toss dot show and inside this message dot show you print out this uh, c l i c k t click type value so there can be any value so that's why we don't have to write a string because uh, that is a variable here is a string because that's an inbuilt property now message stores is saying message stores is not defined so you have to define the message stores here comma you can write sp slash m slash m e w s g e s t message stores because it's a part of uh, uh, sp m library that comma and then uh, declare it here as well now uh, what will happen if i rerun the application and when i click on any tile it would display the name of the tile inside a inside a message toast so you can see what is the message toast that i can show you just in a moment once it will be load you can also see it and then i would show you what is the concept of base controller if i click on add product it is showing add product if i click on campaigns it is showing campaign because i'm only reading the property header i click on centers it is saying centers then user roles and then notification so header part it is reading that's what we needed so that is a uh, you know the type of function now on click of this function i can write anything here right i can write uh, like it should navigate to some other view on click of product it should go to the product page click of campaign it should go to the campaign page it should go to this location management um, location page it should go to the user roles it should go to the notification right now before we go ahead i want to show you what is the use of base controller i close them all close each and everything in inside admin panel we have web app inside web app we have controller now we have two controllers already and we have two views already how many controllers we have how many the number of controllers would be equal to number of views but the number of controller would be n plus one like the number of views plus one because here we are adding one more uh, controller that is called base controller so what will happen these two controller will actually uh, you know extend the base controller so what will happen whatever we will write in base controller we can call that function 
from these views also. Now I would give you a live example. You remember this code we have written here? I will put this code in base controller. But see, the, here it is calling this controller is, is, uh, is the name of this controller home. But if you will go to the view, home view, there is a controller name written here. And controller is home controller, right? So whatever is in home controller, right it will call right because it can relate it can go to the controller and can check okay this function is there but what if i put this function in a controller which is not declared here which is not declared that is called base controller so what will happen this controller home controller will extend the base controller just a moment i show you on the controller file i would right click i would uh, go to the new and i would write file inside file i write b a s e base c o n t r o double -A, a r base controller dot js because that's a javascript file right base controller is done now i'm copying the code from my previous code so i don't have to work a lot here is a base controller because there are a bunch of things that i have to write so i just copy the code i tell you where to change you can also copy any controller board and you can change it okay if it's about uh, the controller code uh, so I would suggest you you copy this code, right? So it would be easy for you, right? Just to see okay, where is what? Okay, and uh, this one is copied till here now if you will click on this you will get to know where is closing It's closing with these two So we have to copy these two also and We have to paste them here now. It's perfect <coughs> Okay, now we have to change this uh, controller name because it's controller dot home right so it's got only controller right so if if you see here this controller controller and then it's a base controller right so the actual name is the controller name we will write bas base c o n t r o to the base controller so that is our base controller base controller is done now you go to the you close the you go to the home controller home controller you will see the base controller is already using this SAP UI core MVC controller so here we want to use the base controller so what we will do we will put one dot slash dot slash means it's see home controller is where home controller is here if I put one dot it will come out of this uh, you know like this folder the top of this folder and slash base controller that's how it can access this base controller so slash b a s e c o n t r o -L -T -R. okay that's how it is extending now this base controller should be everywhere here instead of controller there should be base controller here instead of extending the controller it should extend the base controller in the similar way similar thing we have to do for the other controller also right our app controller right there is nothing else so we have to remove this comma and this uh, controller should also use the base controller let's also extend the base controller cool and it looks fine now what i do i show you the magic the magic is what if i run this is this file and if your configuration is correct this would run otherwise it will throw an error that is the truth either it will show an error or it is running it means your base controller is working okay i show you how it is working now so just assume i remove this on click tile from here i remove this comma also always uh, remember to remove the comma and you go to the base controller and you write this function here on click tile right and you will see the the functionality would be same it won't change because we are clicking on the on the tile which is in home controller but the functionality we are getting is from the base controller and that's the reason it is working absolutely fine so this is what you should understand what is the use of base controller how do we use it and i tell you the code which is common across the views suppose i'm doing a particular operation in this view i have to write that particular code here i have to write a particular code in the app controller but suppose if there is something which i'm doing in the app controller also which i'm doing in the home controller also suppose for navigation right so those type of code we can write it here because that this is common code across the views so that common code we can keep it here and uh, and yeah it would work fine 
so th that's all about the base controller and i think our application is ready uh, to be pushed to the github so in my next session i'm going to show you how you can push this code to the github and how you can create multiple repositories on github inside one repo how you can uh, you know push multiple uh, ufi apps thanks a lot